For this lesson, we're going to create an audio trigger spot and then use a global trigger so that we can get some audio out of it. It's the most basic concept of how you can use a spot to say, like in the documentation it states, a small fire in a level. So let's get to it. The audio trigger spot is located in the audio section, which if you're in create object from the beginning, click on audio, and then what we're going to do is double click on it and put it in your level. I'm in the pit blank level right now. If we press control and shift, we can snap it to the middle here. I'm going to zoom in right there and we'll keep it as is. So what I want to do now is actually create a flow graph that will trigger this based on if, say, we go into that proximity. I want to make sure my trigger spot is off right now. So I'm going to turn it off. And what I'm going to do is grab the trigger and I'm going to create a flow graph inside of it. It already has one, so it's the trigger that has existed before. I'm going to clean that out, delete it. What we're going to do is just add the trigger. So we have the proximity trigger. We want to say on start, enable it. Now let's go into the trigger spot and we'll add that. Basically we're saying that when you enter, enable. When you leave, disable. And then also we might as well put on here the audio trigger spot to disable on start because we don't want it playing all the time. So now that we have that set up, we need to actually choose the play trigger. So if we go in, we can choose one from the global level. So inside of here, let's do something like Cave Mysterious. And we'll simply add that to the level. So I'm going to put on debug, and we should be able to jump in, and we're going to walk right across the trigger spot. So it hasn't been enabled, it's just set disabled, and so this is what I'm supposed to go through. Let's back up, see if it works. And now we have mysterious cave sounds coming from it, and if I walk out, it disables. So this is the most basic implementation you can do for an audio trigger spot. There are different ways you can do attenuation and manipulate the sounds, but I wanted you to see the most simple way where we can enable and disable it through a proximity trigger.